The hindrances you face on your way to success might just be a way for the Lord to prepare you for the challenges ahead. God also has a way of preparing us for what we are yet to face so that when the time comes, it will be easy on us. We are sometimes not comfortable with the arrangements that God has prepared for us, but we need to trust God and put all our hope in Him because we are sure He would never lead us astray. Removing whatever has blocked you is the easiest thing He can do, and if you are patient enough, He would do it at the right time that it would favor you. The only problem is that humans are impatient, and any little trial we start having doubts and looking for alternative routes to success. You cannot withstand the test of faith, and you expect everything to be served to you on a platter of gold. The righteous cry and the Lord hears and delivers them out of their troubles. Just a reminder that God is all we need to overcome spiritual attacks. God has commanded you to cry to him and he would save you from all your troubles. The roadblocks you face on your way to success are not ordinary. They are spiritual attacks from people who do not want your progress. The best way to tackle these problems is to show to them that you have a big God beside you that is way more than any attack they might want to throw at you. You have a God that never fails you. You have a God of perfect timing. You do this by involving God in everything you do. Talk to God and pray to Him about your needs. Never stop calling His name and never stop worshiping Him. The Lord hears the cry of the righteous. You have to be steadfast in your worship to Him, and God will hear your cry. Even your silent prayers will be answered. God comes to the rescue of His people, and He never leaves them to wallow in pain. Just present all your plans to God, and He will oversee it. Any one of your plan that does not work out, you can be sure that it is not the will of God for you, and God has something big for you coming your way. All your troubles will be taken care of by Him, and He will oversee all that concerns you. If you are righteous, God will surely let you know His will, and you can act accordingly to God's will. Knowing God's will is equal to having a purposeful life. This means you have a purpose in your life, a target to be met, and this will serve as a guide for you through life. Submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. This verse reminds you that God is the source, which is why you should submit and rely on him. God will surely see you through it all. Total submission to God and admittance that he is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Accept Him as your Lord and personal Savior. Only then can you be free from all the troubles life is throwing at you. God has done it for His people before you, and He would do it for you too. No matter how long it takes for God to answer your prayers, you should never give up your trust and faith in Him. You should be rest assured that God has something big planned for you. During these trial times, the devil will tempt you with a lot of good things. The devil will come with all your heart desires. And you should always know it comes with a heavy price in future. Only God can guarantee an everlasting joy in your life. Only God can provide everything you need and not ask for anything in return. God is enough for you and he is very capable of removing whatever roadblocks you meet on your way to success. You are from God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is He who is in you than He who is in the world. This is a reminder that what we carry always outweighs whatever the devil would try to. It should serve as a source of comfort God has always provided for you, and He would keep providing for you. Greater is He who is in you. The Holy Spirit dwells in you, and through Him you are able to overcome everything life has thrown at you. Overcoming challenges right from when you were little 
is never by your power. God has installed in you a source of comfort. God has prepared you and equipped you from birth to overcome challenges. God has also opened his windows for you through prayers to talk to him whenever you face challenges. The problem is, you are ignorant of this fact. Probably you have never prayed to God before and you are living fine, so you think it is totally by your power. God has equipped you with what you need to overcome challenges and sometimes things get tough. You feel you do not need God since you have been overcoming challenges yourself. This should not be so as you need to pray to God on challenges you are facing for him to guide you through. This is why some people fall for the devil's temptation as the devil is just looking for opportunities to make you his advocate. Just pray to God as instructed. Humble yourself before him and he would see you through all your troubles. This is what the Lord has assured you. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Remember, when the devil tries to attack you, he is indirectly trying to attack God. And you know God wins every battle. The battle is not yours, it is God's. Imagine trying to fight God's battle for him. Just call on him and he will fight your battles for you. Only then can you experience full victory over the devil and be confident in yourself that there is no challenge you cannot overcome through God who strengthens you. When you meet challenges, no matter how burdensome, do not be afraid. Just laugh at the challenges and the challenges. Call on your God and he would never fail you. God will make sure your enemies are defeated in your life and he would see you through all the way to success. The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before you. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. God never said there would not be challenges. Of course there would. God just gave you assurance that he would always come to your rescue whenever you call upon him. God cherishes his followers and you can be sure of victory at the end of everything because when God has a plan for you, nothing can hinder that plan. Pray to God and trust in him. God will see that all your troubles, your enemies will be defeated before you and they would never challenge you anymore. God has promised to look after his followers and he would keep them safe away from the troubles of life. Do not be afraid as God is with you in the journey of life. Whenever you encounter any problem, kneel before your God and cry to him. He would definitely come to your aid. God has always commanded you to run to him whenever you have problems in life. God will not just make your enemies walk away from you. No, God will make your enemies flee from you and you shall find comfort. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For your struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the high places. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Take up the shield of faith with which you can put out all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God.